वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11-26 सो स्टेटमेंट इज सेलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट वेट स्टील वाइड फ्लैंक बीम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम बेंडिंग्स बी दैट विल सेफली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग शोन द अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज 22 के एस आई एंड अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज 12 के एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम ए बी दैट इज हैविंग अ पॉइंट लोड एट दिस एंड व्हिच इज 5 किलो 5 किप्स and there is a movement of 18 kips into feet in counter clockwise direction so you have to find the lightest weight of wide flange beam that will support this loading so let's start with the solution the first step is that you can see that uh, there is a roller support so this loading is downward so this will be upward and this loading will be downward so if you remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as ra and if you remove this pin support at point b so you will be having a reaction fo force which is represented as rb so we will find this ra and rb by using equilibrium condition so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is this one which is 18 kips into feet that is counter clockwise direction it will be positive the second moment will be this force into perpendicular distance is 6 feet and this is also counter clockwise so it will be positive the third moment about point a is rb into perpendicular distance is 12 and this will be clockwise and it will be negative but their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write 18 plus 5 into 6 minus 12 into rb is equal to 0 so 18 plus 30 minus 12 rb is equal to 0 so 48 is equal to 12 rb and from here you will get rb is equal to 4 kips okay so this is rb now we will find r a by using another equilibrium condition and what is that equation so sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so three forces one is minus 5 plus r a minus r b equal to 0 so minus 5 plus r a minus 4 is equal to 0 so r a will be equal to 9 kips now you have these two reaction force so we will go to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram why because we know that uh we are selecting the beam for that we will re required section modulus so required section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable bending stress so we will need this maximum bending moment so what we will do is we will draw the shear force and uh, bending moment and shear force diagram so i will take two lines from the end of this beam vertical lines and then a horizontal line that will show the length in feet x in feet here we will be having shear force that will be in kip clear and let each division is equal to uh 5 uh, let each division is let this let take it to so 2 4 that will be 6 similarly minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 so first at this point you can see there is a 5 kips load that is downward so minus 5 so first point will be this one now there is moving from this load till a there is no other force so it will remain same clear so this will be same till this point so your shear force will be same at this point you can see you have a load of uh, ra which is equal to 9 kips 
so minus 5 plus 9 is equal to 4 so shear force will change from minus 5 to 4 this is your 4 and again moving from point a till b there is no other force so it will remain same till at the end and you can see here at b which is 4 keeps the downward so it will go downward to 0 so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will take a horizontal line so x will be in feet and here we will having moment that will be in caps into feet let each division is equal to uh, let me choose another color let each division is 10 so minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 and minus 50 now area under the shear force diagram is this one clear so this area will contribute in bending moment this area and you can check that there is external moment of 18 kips that is counterclockwise so while drawing it in bending moment diagram it will sudden drop to the negative portion so first we will locate this minus 18 so this is your minus 18 clear and now the second area under the shear force diagram is this one so this height is 5 and this length is 6 so this area will be equal to 5 into 6 which is equal to minus 5 into 6 which is equal to minus 30 so minus 18 minus 30 will bring it to minus 48 so we will first locate for minus 48 till this point so let this is your minus 48 now you can see that the this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this uh, area is also negative so its slope will it will be a straight line one degree and slope will be decreasing the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to 4 into length is 12 which is equal to 48 so plus 48 minus 48 plus 48 will bring it to 0 at this point and we will get a straight line because you can see this is a this shear force is a horizontal line and this is a positive so when bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be slope of the line will be increasing okay so this is your uh, bending moment diagram now from bending moment diagram the value of maximum bending moment maximum bending moment comes out to be absolute value of maximum bending moment is minus 48 so maximum bending moment is equal to 48 kips into feet clear and in term of uh, kips into inch 48 multiplied by 12 will convert it into kips into inch okay now we have this value we have allowable stress which is given over here 22 ksi so you can just put it required section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable stress so maximum bending moment is 48 into 12 divided by 22 ksi so 22 so required section modulus after calculation will come out to be 26.18 cubic inch. Now this is the required section modulus. And 
what we will do is that we will go to the appendix B appendix B and we will search this value so let's go and search so the at the end of the book so you have to go to appendix B this is the appendix B and you have to search for white flange beam that is uh, in inch clear so you have to search the value of let me check s is equal to 26.18 so you can see this is the this is the line of s so 26 point nine so you can see 26.9 this so this is the last value which is this one you can see the last one this 29 29 which is closest to 26 clear and this is the lightest one so you will select this w12 14 into 22 also we will note down its depth which is 13.74 clear its thickness of web 0 0.230 and this sx which is 29 so remember this thing and we will move toward problem so we from appendix we select we select w14 by 22 and its depth was 13.74 inch thickness of web was 0 0.230 inch and its section modulus sx was 29 cubic inch so till now we have solved this problem and we have selected the lightest white flange beam which is w20 14 by 22 but uh, let us check with the shear stress let check it shear stress whether it satisfy or not so we know that maximum sharing stress is equal to maximum shear force divided by thickness of web into depth so maximum sharing stress can be obtained from the shear force diagram so this was minus 5 clear so absolute value of maximum shear force from the diagram shear force diagram is 5 kip clear so i will write 5 divide by thickness of web is 0 0.230 and depth is 13.74 inch so when you calculate you will get maximum sharing stress comes out to be 1.58 ksi now you can see that this maximum sharing stress is less than allowable because maximum sharing stress is 1.58 ksi and that is less than allowable and allowable is 12 ksi allowable is 12 K S I. Okay. Hence, W fourteen by twenty two is lightest white flange steel beam. And that was all about problem 11-26. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned it as well. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.